You know what it means when this dabba is out. It's time for MT's video. Ellarigo namaskara welcome and welcome back to my channel today is going to be a huge huge empties like i have stuff overflowing from my uh, empties bin that's how much stuff i have in this there's a lot of hair care and some skin care and yeah this is like literally like sticking out there's skin care hair care um, some i think quite a good amount of makeup and stuff like that this will be in the frame because i need to like empty this uh, box to put it into my trash bag how many of you guys missed this it's been so long since i uploaded my last empty i've been meaning to film this but i never found the proper opportunity to so today i'm going to just get started so first up i have a three shampoos so if i'm finishing three shampoos then you guys know how long it has been since my last empties so this is the patanjali keshkanti aloe vera hair cleanser i have three full bottles which i went through and uh, i have another bottle uh, half of it is already gone i freaking love this shampoo i spoke about this in my um, random favorites and as well as you guys recommended this in my previous empties and so i bought it and you guys were absolutely right my hair uh, looks a lot healthier and shinier and also uh, my hair is less frizzy with this um, shampoo and i love it so this is the patanjali keshkant aloe vera hair cleanser three of them goes in the garbage after shampoo okay i do have my trash bag here because it's just easier to throw it in so after shampoo the next natural course of progression is conditioner so obviously i have this biotic uh, shampoo this is bottle number 1 bottle number 2 bottle number 3 and i also have i think this is yes this is the pre wash conditioner that i use so this is the beautiful reverse system pre wash conditioner this doesn't um, get em oh, this doesn't finish up as fast as the post wash conditioner does i don't know for what reason although i use the same conditioner every single time of the both of the shampoo so i have one of these and two of these actually so i have two beautiful volume conditioner and i have another bottle already in and then hold up oh we have this shower gel let me move this to the side so this shower gel was the worst shower gel that i have purchased in my life this is so bad i spoke about this in my product regret this is the nika shower gel in the shade in the scent fresh aqua don't buy this you guys this is very bad you need a lot of quantity for this to lather and it doesn't even lather that well it doesn't smell that good it's like so so it was very very underwhelming and for the price damn this is 450 bucks like seriously my scent i is one which is almost in the same price range is much bigger in size and quantity and works so much better you just need like this much amount for your whole body this one whereas requires almost triple that amount it it requires a lot for your whole body so i don't like it in the end i got so frustrated that, that i started using it as my brush cleanser that much irritated so i switched over to this one this is the pomalev thermal spa skin renewal crushed coconut and jojoba butter extract i love this i've spoken about this for like the past 3 winters i love this i only bought this because this is a winter staple and i love it, it smells like coconut this is like a like a proper winter shower gel because it has those crushed coconuts it's really exfoliating and also sort of moisturizing as opposed to the nika one which says aqua but it just strips your body of the moisture there's actually one empties product here missing which i think someone in my household threw it in the dustbin it's the huge as sen eyes i'll put a picture right here it's the sen eyes oatmeal something something body lotion i completely finished it up and also the pama's uh, coco butter that is also completely empty a picture will be right seen right now the pama's one was super 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 thick and perfect for winter uh, because it had a pump bottle until about 90% the pump was working fine and it was dispersing the product but in the last 10% where the uh, tube did not touch the bottom of the barrel it is not pumping enough and the second thing is because the body butter is so thick it is literally so thick that it will not move even if you move the bottle around i tried keeping it in the sun i tried keeping it in the hot water and it did not melt so i had to cut the pama's butter body butter lotion into half and then scrape the bottom of it that's how much i loved it and it is sort of difficult towards the end but you guys nothing uh, that a little bit of uh, hot knife will not 
do you know to get your bottle cut yeah that's how i've been brought up and my mom and i we absolutely love that body butter for winter so we completely use that up so yeah those two things i cannot show because one is like destroyed and the other one somebody probably in my family threw it and then for hair care one last thing so this is the boots ingredients conditioner coconut and oil almond normal to dry hair i have had this since october 2017 i distinctly remember because uh, one of my friends got this when he came from bangkok so i got two bottles of this i have another one which i am in use and i use this every time i wash my hair and i wash my hair twice a week so i used to use this regularly as a post wash conditioner i mean after i have used this biotic conditioner i come out of the shower and then when my hair is damp i use this in my hair it does work really well check out my hair care routine if you haven't checked it out it's pretty much the same nothing has changed i love it i have another bottle of this which i'm currently using and that's like not even 5% done she's filling up okay uh, most of the rest of the stuff is i think makeup and nail polish okay so we have this uh, biotic bio margot anti dandruff shampoo and conditioner you guys know how much i love this and then they started giving me dandruff it is possible for something that worked for so long to stop working you know it does happen so after this bottle oof, after this bottle i switched over to the patanjali ones so yeah it's been a good 4 5 months i think since i did my last empties so yeah um this was okay i mean i wouldn't go back after i have discovered the aloe vera gel shampoo i am not going back okay then we have two things of yeah we have this uh, zappy everyday wipes is there a scent or something these are also zappy everyday wipes so basically i have two wet wipes these are the wet wipes that my mom got from singapore you'll probably see this in almost like every single empties video because i do use them up quite um, often these are super 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 good and uh, it has um, it's very delicate on the skin it doesn't contain uh, that much of alcohol the first ingredient is purified water then glycol then phenoxethanol okay and then it has aloe vera also so it says it does not sting skin and natural and organic moisturizer which i think is absolutely true it is ultra soft and delicate on the skin it doesn't have alcohol or colorings like it says and it is safe on most skin types and age groups natural and organic moisturizer i don't know about moisturizer because every time i finish using these up i do wash my face and then you do my usual skin care routine um So I don't really know if they work, but these are super, super gentle on the skin and works really well. So I use this when I have such heavy beat makeup, not when I just have eyeliner or mascara. In such cases, I use cotton pads. And then uh, let's okay, wow, I have so much. So let's talk about nail polish remover. I have this Insight Instant Nail Polish Remover, and then I have the Lakme Remover. I bought this. My actually, my mom bought this Lakme Remover because. there was no nail polish remover in our house at all which is super weird because i we always have nail polish remover we were completely out of it so my mom bought this on her best guess so she was like i don't know which one you use so i bought this so i was like okay we will use it it's not a big deal so after that was empty i bought the insight instant nail polish remover which work really well i like it currently i'm using the color bar one which i got on offer and i'm enjoying it as well now let's talk about uh, okay speaking of nail polish i have yeah i have one nail polish this is the new you glitter art in the shade icy cool this is a textured polish um oh my god i used to love this so much but the problem with texture polishes which i have noticed across board is that once they get thick there is no amount of thinner that will thin this down and the polish just goes to waste and i don't think in the future i will be buying any texture polish and even if i do i think i'll have to use it up because even if you put so much thinner it doesn't dilute one thing and the second thing is even after that it is still thick and goopy and so so sort of like difficult to apply i wore this around christmas for like 2 3 days and then it didn't even apply evenly so i'm like yeah it is empty so goodbye dear old friend and then let's talk about makeup remover i have two the first one is the garnier micellar water this is the second bottle that i used up in the year 2018 alone i have used up two full bottles it was there in my previous empties it was there in this empties as well so this is the oil infused cleansing water love it works amazingly for a change this time i got the micellar cleanser water this is like okay not as good as this one i want it i want it i want it 
I wanted to try the Nivea one, but many people, many of you people told that like don't try it, stings your eyes. And I know Garnier works really well, so yeah, definitely I have repurchased it. And once that is empty, I'm going to repurchase this one back again because I love this. And then oh, I forgot about this one. Oh my God, who remembers this? This was like my jam, like ever since I discovered this. This is the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover with cornflower extract. I have used this to death. I got this uh, from Sephora and this is like 5.99. Yeah, this is for 5.99. This is the travel size. You might think that it's an expensive investment, which it is. But if you consider the investment uh, to the returns ratio, I think this is the same as the Garnier one because the Garnier one retails for uh, 225 rupees and you get 125 ml i've done a comparison uh, review between the two make sure to check it out i will leave a link in the description box below and this is 590 for just 50 ml okay so there's a huge price difference to the uh, amount and quantity for of the garnier one to the sephora one but you require almost double triple quantity of the garnier one to that of the sephora one so the time that you uh, use two Garnier micellar waters will be the same as uh, one usage of the Sephora one and it gets a waterproof any type of waterproof uh, mascara like this so I love it I have done a complete demo like I said I will leave a link to it in the description box below will I purchase this I don't think I will because it is expensive but if you are looking if you just want to try it out I think for one time this would be a really good investment so let's say you buy it in Jan of 2019 this will last you until December like I'm not kidding because I bought this in July 2017 and it lasted me till like uh, August September 2018 so yeah and I do remove my makeup every single day before going to bed and I used to use this so yeah it does does work love it okay so next up another skincare product this is the Innisfree capsule recipe sleeping pack and I got this again a year back and I finally used it up this was like it honestly didn't do anything to my skin anything it honestly yeah, I didn't do anything to my skin so I don't think I'll repurchase this and this is sort of pricey for this is 150 rupees for such a tiny capsule so nah I'm not going to repurchase and then um, these two Miss Claire blushes I'm throwing away because I spoke about these in my product regrets this is the shade number uh, what is this 12 and this is the shade number 9 so yeah I have two shades but guys there is literally no pigment look at that look at that there is no pigment whatsoever and i think these are expired as well so i'm throwing these away and then let's talk about oh my god i have four sketch eyeliners to show you guys i did a whole uh, video comparing the four of them actually so you guys can see how much I love this and I have used up okay wait I have three eyeliners this is not an eyeliner we'll come back to it so I have used up all of my sketch eyeliners and currently I'm using gel eyeliner instead because I simply don't want to invest knowing that I have something else as replacement which works just as well so yeah so the first one let's talk about the one that I didn't like uh, that I like the least to say precisely this is cal draw me on sketch eyeliner pen this was okay and mainly i didn't like it because it leaked and the uh, nib was really thick to draw eyeliner so i did not appreciate this that much um i will not repurchase that the next one that i have is the nika k fine tip liner or something yeah she is empty <laughs> okay so this uh, is like micro fine i loved love 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 this liner again this came uh, this lasted me for like a year or something so i i really really enjoyed this definitely will repurchase if i am in the mood to repurchase something this will be second on the list the top one that i loved uh, is the wet and wild um pro line felt tip liner oh my god i love this one of my friends she recently purchased this from a nika she's like anu i want that wet and wild liner that you got from pondicherry so this was it so she bought it and she absolutely loves it she swears by this liner the only downside is that it lasts uh, it doesn't last as well if you use it every single day so this lasted me like seven or eight months which i still think is pretty pretty good so yeah this is definitely something that i will repurchase if i'm in the mood for a felt tip liner and then this one is okay it does look like an eyeliner but it is not so this is the um, wet and wild ultimate brow retractable pencil and i am in the shade 
medium brown this is like this uh, triangle shaped applicator and there is obviously no product left i didn't even realize i finished this up guys i've spoken about this in two of my favorites my early favorites as well as my uh, previous favorites i think the september favorites this is the best eyebrow pencil that i have ever 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 used if you want to make your um, eyebrows look like full and fluffy and feathery this is the uh, this one to go if you want it to look natural this is the way to go like anything or if you guys want to give eyebrow pencils a shot don't buy the maybelline one because i have used the maybelline one and i did not like it buy this instead and this is absolutely beautiful um i actually recommended this to one of my office colleagues um so basically my eyebrows are pretty thick so even if i don't fill them in technically uh, it will not make much of a difference but she has very sparse brows um so she wanted an eyebrow pencil and i suggested try the wet and wild one and she like flipped when she used it she loved it so much so this is again something that i've recommended to everyone who has asked me for um for an eyebrow pencil suggestion or an eyebrow product suggestion this is something that i recommend to everyone and because it has this angular tip right like it is really really easy to use the pigmentation is just right it's not too creamy nor too waxy the pigment is just right so if you if you have if you are someone like me who does fill in only like uh, from the arch to the tail and the arch to the tail even then it will look really natural it will make your brows look a little fuller and just put together in a sense so oh my god i'm so sad that this is this is over like one day i think um, i was going out some day uh, so basically i do makeup only if i'm filming uh, i don't go out at all if i go out that which is very 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 rare if i do go out i do get ready so i mean i do put some makeup on uh, in that case i do do my brows so i pick this up and i'm like i'm twisting this up and there's no product coming out and i had done my one eyebrow and the other other eyebrow was left so like oh shit and then i had to remove so i use some eye shadow to just do it um yeah i would definitely repurchase this but i think for the time being i will use some eye shadows uh to fill into my brows i will use eye shadows to fill into my brows i don't need this right now but if i had to purchase it i will definitely definitely buy this and then i have uh, one mascara so this is the maybelline total temptation mascara can you see how jacked up i have made it oh my um this was not good initially this was like okay it didn't wow me but then uh, towards the end it's it started like it was so good like towards the end it gave me a lot of volume and little bit of curl and little bit of length as well so i did really really enjoy this but that was only towards the end and it did not last as long as i would have liked it to this is what the brush looks like um i do have a full review video on this as well as the Maybelline Master Chrome in rose gold so i do have it available linked to it again in the description box below this is good if you want to give uh, another mascara a shot i would suggest like go for this it's not bad but this is not my favorite from maybelline so if you're bored of like lash sensational lash sensational or colossal or you feel that lash paradise is too expensive and you're not getting essence mascaras for a good price then i think you can go for this this is not bad but i wouldn't gravitate towards this this would be like my if i don't have anything and i have to buy a mascara i'll be happy purchasing this i know that is such, such a paradox but bear with me and then i have this puna store makeup sponge and uh, it's been 6 months or 7 months since i got this and it is sort of starting to crack so i think it's time to put this away this one is actually good i used this one today this is the puna store this is the original one like i bought this in a four pack so i have another one of these and another one of these brand new ones this is so dense i had previously used another puna store makeup sponge like it was of the same type the same thing but this is somehow a lot denser and like yeah it doesn't work that well this is really soft this was like okay i mean yeah i'm not a big fan um so yeah that's that's i'm throwing that away and then i have the neutrogena deep clean blackhead eliminating scrub i have spoken about this in my skincare video i have spoken about this in my favorites my random favorites everything i love this i have another big size of this uh, which is almost like 70% gone this is my daily use face wash i love this it's really good for winter summer whatever season it's super 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 good so i really really like that and then i have one of my favorite moisturizers probably my all time favorite moisturizer this is the garnier wrinkle lift anti aging cream and um, yeah this is empty 
oh i forgot what it smells like so this is completely empty and i did want to repurchase it but then i thought okay let i have the parma serum and i thought let me use that serum uh, since that is just as good but then winter came and that serum was not sufficient so i purchased the pond's light one which is like i'm thoroughly enjoying it because i think for winter this would have been very 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 light so if you're someone with oily skin you would really enjoy it like throughout the year even in winter but if you are someone with uh, normal to dry skin this would not work in winter but in other seasons i think this is like perfectly fine so the next thing that i have is the biotic bio almond soothing and nourishing cream again like she's gone there's something left in the side but like very little bit left in the side so again one of my absolute favorites so this was like a cream cream type of um eye cream so this was good i really enjoyed it when i had it but now i've switched to the uh bio almond gel or something it's a gel basically it's not bio almond it is some sort of it's a seaweed gel something by biotic itself so yeah i do really like that a little more than this because that's of a gel consistency and last we have some lip balms left so i have my all time favorite this is the nivea original care lip balm oh my god how many times how many times will you guys see this in empty's video like seriously are you guys bored of it or not because this is like my favorite lip balm of all time no matter what my lips are going through this lip balm will always save it and another favorite this is probably in the running to beat beat that nivea one this was that good this is the juicy chemistry rose sip uh and orange butter oh my god smells exactly like orange and there's still some left i tried to scrape out as much as possible and use it this is like really 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 good if you have if you are someone who has like cracks on your lips not fine lines like literal cracks where in your lips uh the skin of your lips just peels off exfoliate your skin i mean lips and then use this this is like instant hydration for your lips and it just makes your lips feel a lot better or if you are someone who's been wearing like matte liquid lipstick like this for the whole day and it dries out like crazy so remove your lipstick and then wash your face and all that after skin care is done put this lip balm on and it will instantly make your lips feel better so with that we have completed our empties and we have filled and we filled this bin are you guys proud of me or what so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, long overdue empties video i know you guys love this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up i mean i meant that you guys love these types of videos i hope you guys like this video if you did then please give this video a thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comments down below please like share comment subscribe and all the jazz and i will see you in my next one bye